Well, the speed camera debate is about to reach flashpoint over secret plans to increase the number of them by 20 times. That means thousands more on streets that were once free of cameras. And a university study has crunched the numbers to prove state governments put revenue over road safety by deciding where the cameras should go. Jonathan Creek has more. Motorists see speed cameras as Darth Vader. They are just the worst possible thing. Snapped, but not speeding. I've never sped in my life. They're the drivers fighting to clear their names against what they say is flawed technology. So I had no doubt that we were doing under 100, and we get, a, we get an infringement saying we're doing 108. Speed camera error are becoming as common as drivers complaining that cameras are simply revenue raisers. It's a disgrace. They are harvesting the motorists. The case everyone is waiting for involves senior constable Faye Pittman, a police officer driving a police car with the cruise control she says set at 98 kilometres per hour. It's alleged Pittman was snapped travelling at 108. Even the magistrate hearing the cases warned the prosecution better not lose. The ramifications would cause a flood of other drivers to contest their own tickets. Since cameras were introduced, authorities across the country have been driving the message that cameras cut crashes. Now a University of Adelaide study prepared for MP Ivan Venning has put the brakes on that campaign. It's a bombshell report that not only finds cameras don't cut crashes, but they can actually cause them. So some people are getting multi-tickets in, in one day. Despite the findings, state governments across the country are forging ahead with expanding their speed camera networks. Governments have recognised that it's a money spinner. It's a revenue earner. New South Wales has 172 fixed cameras and six mobile cameras, reaping $80 million a year. The locations those mobile cameras can set up is set to increase from 144 to 3,000. With an election looming, no one will tell us the exact spots. But six mobile cameras for 3,000 locations seems a little out of balance. Victoria is already the most speed camera saturated state in the country. 308 cameras reaping $270 million a year. 32 new cameras are currently on hold pending a state government inquiry. Queensland's camera network is set to grow with the population. Right now, there are only 49 across the state. A person could lose their licence in one day just by going to... And we've seen these cameras spaced up, say, within seven kilometres apart on country roads. The study has found that speed cameras aren't targeting the areas where crashes occur. The majority in 60 kilometre per hour streets, when most fatal accidents occur on 100 kilometre per hour roads. And that only two of the top 10 money grabbing cameras in South Australia are situated in known accident black spots. Only two of the 10 are in accident prone areas. Now, what's that tell you? It wasn't all that long ago the Victorian police came out and said speed cameras are working in Victoria. Huh? Your road fatalities went up by 12%. How'd you figure that one out? According to traffic expert Scott Cooper, the report raises serious questions about speed cameras and the way they're used. Cooper says we need to follow the UK where the removal of cameras has had no effect on the road toll and crashes have actually fallen. The only conclusion that you can gain from that is that not only haven't speed cameras worked, they are quite possibly causing accidents.